Although, you know, I was thinking about this. Like, I went and had one of those thoughts that happens when you go to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad that at this point, Torment 6 is just really easy because you kind of go through a lot to get there. And it does take a lot of gearing to get there. So there is this kind of like, oh, this thing that was kind of hard to deal with is now easier because I've reached this level of power that True. I can deal with it. True, to a certain extent. But I do, I do wish there was a way you could get just a challenge easier than going through trials. Yeah, like, it's sort of like the leveling up part of the game is more meatier than the end game to a certain extent. Um, like, Unless you're power leveling, because I power leveled a wizard from 1 to 70 in something like five hours, so it's like... Well, yeah, like, like right now, if you made a new character, I could just run you through things right. and level you up, but... If you're if you're actually playing through the game, yes. If you're doing it from really zero, no adventure mode. You have to play through campaign mode first. Um, then I could see it being like, oh, I have nothing and it's hard. Yeah. And Torment Six is so far in the horizon. And then, you know, you got people like me who who went through fucking Inferno, <laughs> and I never want to go through that again. Um, Let's get a plus 40 <laughs> greater rift. <laughs> uh, I really wish I could give you my, my 43 keystone, but... Alright, I'll aim for 43. <laughs> well, I, I was going to say, since you can handle 35, um, we can stop at 35. I will say, this guy's really good at farming up keys. Like after after wave 7 or something, but I'm fine with anything, honestly. Well, it'll also be easier to talk in a 35 rift than in a, like, 45 rift. Yes, but don't you want to record just me going, fuck, fuck that! Fuck <laughs> you! God fucking damn it! God mother... No, just go on without me. I'm fine. Uh, I'll be up in 20. <laughs> Yeah, I think the wave after this one is where we should stop. Oh, right. Well... <laughs> I was like, the wave after this one is the one where we should stop. Gets the 41. Okay, then. This is how I did it. This is how I did it the other night. Yeah, 38 is good. Oh, I have two 38s now. So you just want to farm up keystones or just go keystone rift? Keystone, keystone. rift, keystone okay. rift works for me. 38. So I forgot to mention I uh, I finished another book, mm -hmm. um, The Door into Summer, by a favorite author, Robert Heinlein. Oh, I was not ready to run into that group. That was my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ow. No. So it is. Uh, it has to be confirmed that he is outright a pedophile. Okay. <laughs> so, the point of this book is, um, 
there is uh, cold storage where you can freeze yourself and then wake up in the future. Yeah. Um, which is a, a cool idea. Right. So this guy decides no pun he's going to do it. No pun intended. This guy decides he's going to do it, and then, uh, and then he decides he's not going to do it. And the reason is his friends betrayed him uh, in his business. Uh, his wife's a scam artist, so he's like, fuck you guys, I'm gonna freeze myself. And then he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna fight you guys. Uh, but it ends up being they they force him into it, basically. Um, okay. and it's just slightly mentioned that his, his guy friend at the start of the book has uh, an adopted daughter that mm-hmm. he in the future realizes he's in love with despite okay. her he's he basically says oh if she was if she was 10 years older and it's like n- no <laughs> no robert no, <laughs> just stop and uh in really the future, i think okay a guy discovers time travel so he goes back in time uh-huh to be to when he was frozen he talks to the daughter, tells her to freeze herself, and uh, in the future, after he refreezes himself, they can be together. Okay. So, at least he's not outright pedophiliac in this one, <laughs> but it's, it's damn close enough. Really, I think the way you make that line not offensive is if you say, like, if I were 10 years younger, not if she were 10 years older. Because then it would mean... I, if I was a little schoolboy, I'd totally yeah. be bang you. Yeah, something more along those lines. Like, if I were younger... <laughs> no? <laughs> no, I think it... Still, still, still no? Okay. Still no? I mean, kudos for so, you on the attempt. But. Okay, well, I tried. But, you see, Heinlein is like... I'm very so torn about whether or not I... I hate him, or I just find him, like, herpy. Because he's, like... Like, Phil, when Philip K. Dick was basically not, you know, making money off of his writing, you know, up to eyeballs in his debt, um, Heinlein, Heinlein floated him a no-strings loan that basically kept him on his feet. And he, he had this whole philosophy of pay it forward, which was, you do nice things because, not because you deserve to have nice things done to you, but you do nice things in the hopes that people will do nice things for other people, and you know, pay it forward. It doesn't matter if you get a return on any sort of investment yourself. What matters is that society gets some sort of return, or society pays forward the kindness. Seems legit. But also... He hated racism and sexism of all kinds, despite what he, like, writes really? sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> despite being, like, a huge chauvinist in his writing, that is kind of gross. But, and, you know, like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, as a person, I actually think he was probably a really good person. But just with the way he writes and the subject matter and some of the gross gross, gross things in his books. It's just like... I'm just really torn out. No. No. I'm just really torn on how I view him. Yeah. It's sort of one of those things where you think his writing shows his subconscious more, probably. Yeah. But that's also making assumptions. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, Philip K. Dick is one of my favorite authors. Probably my, my second favorite author. And it's like, he he would not be around if it wasn't for Robert Heinlein basically I, I saving just, him. I guess my, my main issue with, with Heinlein is he has some very, very good ideas for his books. Yeah. And then he always seems to go off on this tangent where it's like... It's about sex. It's about incest. It's about, yeah. you know, pedophilia. And it's just really gross. Like, Starship Troopers started it off. Oh, yeah, Starship Troopers, Troopers was awesome at the beginning with, like, the power armor and yeah. the fight on the planet. Ow. And then he just goes into, well, I'm going to command school, so here's how militaries work. 
And well, here's, it's, it's the, here's how militaries work, and here's my political views regarding it. Here's the structure oh, of the military over the next five hours. Yeah, but also he goes into, like, his politics, and then it gets weird when, like, Rico's dad shows up. Yeah. And becomes part of his squad. And it's like, oh, God, this is so weird. Here we go. Handle that fairly well, I'd we say. Did. Yeah, let's just do gems. Um, we can always get more keystones. Yeah. I want to get my like, gawk leveled up. Um, it's sort of like, so, the door into summer, it starts off, he lives in this house with this cat, and the cat's got more personality than the, the main <laughs> character, but, um, uh, the, the house has 11 doors, and when it's winter, the cat always looks for the door that might possibly have summer on the other side. Mm -hmm. So the idea of this guy goes forward in time, decides he doesn't want to, goes forward in time, um, then goes back in time because he realizes he's missing something from the past, but is able to bring it with him to the future. The idea, uh, the idea that he's looking for his quote unquote uh, door into summer is interesting to me. It's just the execution of it is like uh, it's it's Heinleinian. Yeah. Because the main tangent in this book is about uh, patents and uh, designing, drafting, and engineering and stuff like that. Hmm. 